Now, this is the tea right here. Y'all know I would not talk about things if I didn't have a little extra. You know, we have just a little bit of extra stuff. Get ready, because you're about to be an ATL. So, you know, I, who child? Let me let me find it first before I before I start talking. I gotta find it, Lord. I gotta find it. Me and my friends be talking about so much random stuff when we not online. So I was on um I was on um <laughs> I was watching. I was at look. I was at Living Room Baptist uh, Sunday, right? And I was watching a uh, New Birth Missionary Baptist Church. You know, Jamal Bryant. You know, he's he's controversial, but his sermons be you know he's a really good orator. He's a good speaker, and sometimes you know there's a message in in the you know it, it's not about the messenger. It's about the message. So I was listening to Jamal Bryant, and I'm like, okay, Jamal, he was. He was spitting a little something about Mother's Day and everything and, you know, telling women, you know, that they shouldn't, you know, feel a certain way and stuff. And I was like, was that Shade and Kevin Samuels and Jamal Bryant's uh, speech? Did I just, did I, wait, did he just do what I thought he had did? Hold on, I'm going to play it. Y'all know I'm going to play it. There it is right there. It was at the one out. You know me. I thought I, I look. I time stepped it. It was at this mark right here. So I was watching it and I was like, okay, Jamal. <laughs> we to, he mentioned the high value. It was a great message. Y'all heard it. Y'all heard it. Some of y'all heard it. I know it wasn't just me. Because I'm like, oh, I know it's some Christians in here that heard this message and heard this shade that uh Jamal Bryant threw at Kevin Samuels. And I was like, oh. I, it was Sunday too. I was screaming in my living room, honey. Hold on. Hey man, she's supposed to submit to a man who is submitted under God. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. He is asking them to be silent. Hear this in the interpretation of the prophecy. Because Listen. according to biblical pr principle, when there is a prophet, then there's got to be somebody to confirm the prophecy. Listen. Paul is heavy on headship. And so he understood that women have the gift of prophecy, but he was in fact putting a short gap in place in the event that the woman of God is married to a man of God. Y'all ain't ready for me in here because Paul did not want the woman to check the man. Y'all ain't ready for this kind of preacher. Paul made the controversial statement for insecure preachers to be okay. Y'all ain't saying nothing to me. I don't care what kind of man of God you claim to be. If you don't have an authentic woman of God in your life who can hold you into accountability, then your gift ain't going nowhere. Many of you all are quoting that a woman ought to submit. She ain't supposed to submit to any man. She's supposed to submit to a man who is submitted under God. If he ain't submitted, don't you buck your knee. You better stand right there until you find a man. Who he talking? He talking to Giselle. Hold on. We ain't finished. You, you are listening to men who have no authority. How can a man say that you are of low value after 35? How can a man say that you do not have the level of traction of a high-powered man when that man has got to get a GoFundMe for his funeral? Y'all ain't saying nothing to me. You, you got to be in that place where you operate in the authority of God. Look at the, another sister around to tell him, it's not that I hate men. Come on, look at another sister and say, yeah, I do not hate men. I just despise weak men. I despise cowardice men. I just ain't got time for men who are insecure about my gift. I'm not going to dummy down because because of what God got me, I don't have to lower my standard. That man got to step all the way up to deal with a queen on my level. Okay, Jamal. Okay, yeah, listen. <laughs> I was like, did Jamal just throw shade? <laughs> Did Jamal be up on the YouTube and he knew I 
that was going viral. <laughs> In Sunday service, we got Jamal Bryant <laughs> throwing shade at the high value man. <laughs> I love it. And then he had to put some rumors in there and said that the man, how you going to submit to a man who needs me to go for me to pay for his funeral? We don't even know that that's true or not. But I was like, Lord, Jesus, let me go to, let me go to, uh, to church, honey. Let me go to the church, honey. Oh, past the collection plate because Jamal was preaching. Okay. I'm like, but who is he talking to? Is he talking about Giselle? He said, a man need a woman by his side. Y'all can't keep listening to all these men who ain't got no women. Okay. Listen, it ain't about the messenger. It's about the message. Okay. It ain't about the messenger. So y'all need to pay attention to y'all listen to. I listen to Jamal before I listen to uh, Kevin Sims. But even though, you know, Jamal has slipped up, he, they say he got. So extra babies around here and stuff. But listen, I ain't got nothing to do with that. <sighs> but I digress. I digress. I'm in time. How y'all gonna put me in time? Out. Now